If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 video. And guys, today what I have for you is an update on a video that I did this past week. And uh, if you guys remember, I did a video on this guy, Suava1984, because he was streaming and he had just an insane amount of contracts and tickets, not to mention that he had the best team that I had ever seen in this game. Uh, but really, the contracts and the tickets were the things that were really kind of catching me off guard. I, I broke it down and basically determined that this guy would have had to have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on madden 16 ultimate team but realistically i knew what was actually happening was that somehow the, his game was glitched or his account was glitched and so uh what actually ended up happening is that he started streaming again the other night and uh, he actually ended up inviting xryan 915 and I into a chat on PlayStation 4 while he was streaming. And uh, that was a little bit interesting because the, the actual conversations that we had up to this point were not good. Uh, I mean, at one point he was, uh, I'm not going to get into it in depth, I guess, but uh, basically we were we were in disagreement. Uh, he was very upset that I made the video that I did uh, where I said that he was glitching the game. And basically what it came down to was that he wanted me to apologize to him. So I said, look, man, we all know that your account or, you know, whatever you're doing is not legitimate. So can we just cut the BS? And so when we actually got down to it, he's actually a really cool guy. His wife's a really cool lady as well. Uh, we talked to both of them a little bit. And, it, I mean, everything turned out to be pretty cool between all of us. But you guys can see on your screen here what was happening. And basically what happened was that every single time that this guy got on his Madden Ultimate Team account, so when he would log out of the game, log in, and then start up Ultimate Team. Actually, I don't even know if he had to start up Ultimate Team. I guess we didn't ask him that. But uh, every time that he logged out of the game, so he had to like end the game or close the application and then go back into it, it would give him 11 packs. And then it would also give him a bunch of other stuff like this, like you see on your screen, the ticket pack. And so he would get that as well as a shitload of contracts. And basically what was happening is that his Madden Ultimate Team Rewards account was glitched. Now, what's funny is that I basically discovered this in the previous video. Because I showed on that previous video that he was talking to the EA Sports Madden Ultimate Team representatives on the, or not, I guess not the Ultimate Team, but the EA uh, the a EA support staff, I guess. I don't, I don't know exactly what they do. But basically, he was talking about the fact that his account wasn't receiving any of the packs that he should have been getting for being at the top tier in the uh, Mutt Reward system. So what they ended up doing, I guess, was fixing his account. But the problem is that they set it so that every single time that he got on his account, he got all of the rewards that we got for the whole year. So, like, you were talking about monster packs, we're talking about team of the year packs, we're talking about game changer packs, we're talking about tickets, we're talking about contracts, everything like that. And he was getting a crap load of these things every single time that he got online. And like I said, it was 11 packs every single time that he turned on his system. So that meant that he had just a ridiculous amount of packs and all he had to do was turn off his account, turn it back on, turn it off, turn it back on, and he would just accumulate those packs over and over and over and over again. So what I wanna say is that this guy didn't do anything wrong in my personal opinion. So when I made this video before, I kinda called him out and said that he was doing something wrong. I guess I didn't come out directly and say that, but I kind of implied it. And basically what the reality of the situation is, is that he couldn't have avoided this if he wanted to. The only thing that he could have done is log on to his account, see that it was happening more than once, call up EA, sit on their customer service line, wait for someone to get on, explain the situation to him, and all, he would have to go out of his way, like ridiculously far out of his way to do quote unquote the right thing on this. And by the way, guys, I'm sorry if the video is lagging. That was for my share screen. I don't know why it was doing that, but I mean, you're getting the idea anyway as you're watching this video, despite the fact that the quality is absolute crap. Um, 
the video quality or the uh, video here is exactly what was happening to him every single time that he got on. And again, I just want to say again that I don't think he did anything wrong. I think that EA did something wrong here. And quite frankly, this guy went out of his way to not only uh, take the, the packs and everything, but help out the community. And he was giving away crap loads of really ridiculous cards. Like I saw him give away a Des Bryant golden ticket uh, just for no reason. Just for the heck of it, uh, and he gave away stuff to people who will stop by his stream or help out him and his friends with various different things or people who are just cool in the community. He would just hook them up with really cool cards because he had, like I said, basically an unlimited ending, uh, never-ending supply of packs. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this guy, when we were talking to him, he basically told me and Ryan that he pulled every single golden ticket after the Cromartie. So once Cromartie came out, he pulled all of them up until this past, uh, until they ended, I guess. So think about that. This guy, if you think about how many pulls there are of golden tickets on each system, it's somewhere between like 20 to 35 per system per week. And every single week, this guy pulled one. In addition to that, he was pulling a lot of other of like the boss legends and the super high uh, final edition cards and, uh, you know, various different things like that just because he had this never ending supply of packs. So he was able to not only accumulate a ton of coins and a ton of packs and everything like that, open up great stuff, but also give back to the community. So I think that is kind of cool of him. I mean, it's kind of one of those things where it's, it's kind of a tough moral thing because he knew that what he had on his account wasn't right. But what is he supposed to do? Go out of his way to tell EA that they screwed up his account? I don't think I would do that. I mean, to be honest with you, I would probably sit and open up packs, you know? I mean, I, I wouldn't do it on my account like he is doing. I would definitely not stream myself opening up these packs. But once we kind of figured it out, we basically were able to tell him, like, look, man, everybody just wants to see what happened. So you can see here, like I said, guys, that he had, I think, when we started this, like 130 or something packs. So, I mean... That is, it is what it is. This is what would happen every single time that he would get online. Kind of crazy stuff. Thought you guys would be interested in it and give you just an update. Um, one other thing that I do want to say is that because of these videos and because he was streaming on this account and other people were bringing it up and tweeting it at the Ultimate Team uh, uh, Twitter account and also the EA Sports Madden Twitter account, this unfortunately for Suava has come to an end. He no longer gets these packs every time that he gets on, which does kind of suck. But, I mean, when we talked to him a little bit more, he actually kind of told us that this kind of became almost a problem for him. Because it was taking up a lot of his time to just open up packs, to be honest. I mean, he he and his, basically his wife was opening up packs for him. Uh, I think he said his brother-in-law was opening up packs for him. His kids were opening up packs for him. Just for the hell of it, you know? And uh, so it, it kind of became a, an issue as far as time goes because they were spending a lot of time doing it. But also, he started to realize that some of his friends or people that he thought were friends were basically just using him for free cards, which is never cool, you know? Um, I guess that's kind of, this is kind of like the mutt equivalent of hitting the lottery. And just like what happens in the real lottery, people will start to use you when they start to see that you have more resources than they do. And that's kind of unfortunate. I, I wish that that didn't happen to him. But I guess, you know, when you let people know, even if it's a small number of people, when you let them know what's going on, everybody's going to try and, you know, use you as much as they possibly can. So that sucks. But I hope that uh, Suava is, you know, back to being friends with the people who he was friends with. I hope that we can be cool going forward because, like I, like I said earlier in the video, I thought he and his wife were actually pretty cool when we actually got down and sat down and talked. Um, and I kind of felt bad that we made the video, but then again, like I said, we weren't really reporting anything that wasn't very, very obvious. You know, I mean, he went out and streamed this with, uh, you know, millions of contracts and 35, 40,000 tickets in his account. So. At the end of the day, I don't really think it was our fault uh, that he got uh, that he ended up getting banned. Maybe we ended it more quickly by talking about it, but at the same time, I don't feel that bad about it because he, you know, 
he kind of gave it away on his own account by being a little bit too cocky about it so and he and he admitted that too so uh anyway guys that is the update on the video uh on the previous video with the, the pack glitch unfortunately this isn't something that i think anybody else's account has access to be able to do so if you're trying to do this i kind of think you're probably wasting your time like i said this is something where every single time that he got on his account it would just give him packs he wasn't doing anything special he was just literally turning on his playstation and getting the packs so uh, again i don't think it's a glitch that can be replicated unfortunately or i guess fortunately because it would completely ruin the market if you could do this it would be fun though to have endless packs i guess for youtube i i mean hell like i said i would I would be opening up a crap load of packs, I'll tell you guys that much. Maybe what I would do if I had this is, on my account is I would make a second account where I would transfer all the coins that I would get from this account to the other one so that I wouldn't have like an insane amount of tickets. And then I would just open up packs on that other account. That's probably what I would do. I'm just being completely honest with you guys. I mean, hell, if I had an endless access to coins and to uh to packs and things like that i would have to take advantage of it i don't think i could possibly not take advantage of it so let me know in the comment section below though guys what do you think about this whole thing what would you guys do if you were in his situation would you be guilty about it would you feel bad or would you just go ahead and open up packs i mean would you sell them for money like what would you do if you had access to this account I mean, think about it. If you were like a coin seller, this is like a freaking gold mine, man. Seriously, this is a literally endless supply of packs. So I don't know, man. I think it's pretty crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And you know what, guys? I'm going to do him a favor as well. I'm going to go ahead and drop his Twitch account into the description of this video if you want to go over there and watch him on Twitch. He actually does have a fairly entertaining Twitch stream as well. So go over there. Check it out. Thanks again to Suava for, a, a, you know, kind of allowing us to upload this video i mean he said that we could and uh he like i said came in and talked to us a little bit as well maybe sometime if you guys are interested uh we'll do a video together of some sort you know he and i talking about this whole thing or talking about some other stuff let me know if you guys want to see that as well thanks so much guys hope you enjoyed it and we will talk to you guys again soon